knew for a fact I could not lie myself out of that situation because I was caught. Like, I was done. It was over with. I was busted. It was no coming back to that. Thank you so much for watching Miss Angel Week TV where we talk about everything and when I mean everything I mean like your girl got caught skipping school for the D okay and I kind of already told this story if you are a OG a day one you probably already know the story but I didn't really make it its own story I kind of like threw it in one of my story times so I decided to just go ahead and do this video but before we get into it y'all know what to do hit that subscribe button down below because y'all don't want to miss these stories y'all don't want to miss what I have to say next and also don't forget to hit the notification bell because you don't want to miss whenever I post my next video but because YouTube be tripping sometimes you also want to go ahead and follow me on all of my social medias because I post exclusive things on there I'm also going to be giving you guys first look access to videos before they actually post but in order to figure out how you can get access to those videos before anybody else sees it, you need to go ahead and follow me on my social media accounts because that's where I'm going to be giving you all those details on, okay? So let's just go ahead and get into this video real quick. So y'all, let me take y'all back to the summer right before 8th grade, okay? I had just turned 13 and I was just, you know, hanging out, doing what a normal 13-year-old girl does through the summer. You know, chill with their friends, you know, go out to the pool, be outside, walking around, you know, all of that good stuff, right? So I just so happened to meet this guy, which y'all all know as my husband, Gabe. You know, everything was cool. We, you know, obviously we got together and y'all know he broke my virginity. If y'all want to know that story, y'all can always click that video. That was my second story time that I've ever done. So if y'all want to know the details on that, go ahead and click that video. I wanted to be around him all the time. I would say I thought I was in love only because I was young and I mean even though I'm still in love with him now like I don't really think back then I knew what the fuck love was all I knew was I just wanted to be around this nigga because I just really 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 loved him okay school finally lets in from the summer and I really really didn't want to go but I knew I had to being that Gabe and I sitting in the same apartment complex we would walk up to the front of the apartments together his bus would come first and then my bus would come afterwards I went to school for the first day and you know that was that now when that second day came around I you know usually get up in the morning get dressed and walk myself to the bus stop so the second day came and I did that exact thing now the only difference was I don't really remember how the situation came about but I know for a fact Gabe was outside and he was just you know like I ain't going to school today he told me I'm skipping school you need to go to your ass school though because you don't need to be skipping school but you know my ass my stupid ass I was like no I've never done it before so my mama ain't gonna expect me to do it now like I should be okay and so even though he tried to do his best to talk me out of it I still ended up not going my ass to school I decided to skip school that day y'all again this is the second day of school and I believe we had open house that same day um, but we'll get to that point so what we would do was we would wait until the bus leaves like both of the buses because there was a high school bus and there was a middle school bus i was riding the middle school bus and he was in the high school bus because he was a sophomore and i was in eighth grade after everybody got on the bus and left we walked our asses back to his house and so we walked back to his house after everybody got on the bus and went to school his parents weren't there because his mom used to get up really really early for work and his dad was a truck driver so he was never home and you know it was just me and him and we were just chilling like we were basically doing the same thing that we were doing in the summertime just the only difference was we were supposed to be at school comcast had something called on demand i believe that's what it's called so they would have like music videos on there we would just sit down and just watch music videos that's all we used to do i didn't have any problem with it because all i was worried about was being with my man and that was that now there was a time where you know i got hungry and a bitch couldn't leave the house to go get no food because my mom's girlfriend rough rider was living with us and she didn't work so she was always home one thing about that whole situation i knew if i was gonna skip school i could not like leave the house until i knew all of the kids were off of the bus from school gabe decided to walk the burger king for me because i was hungry as fuck which was really really cute i was like oh y'all yeah, this is the very first person that actually walked on foot to get me something to eat like 
was the first time that I skipped school, but it was also the second time I skipped school. So um, we'll just move forward to the second time. The second time we basically did the same thing. Watch the music videos. Of course, we was fucking. I was on cloud nine because I'm like, I ain't got nothing to worry about. Like, I'm skipping school. My mama ain't even gonna find out. Why? Because she just ain't gonna motherfucking find out. And like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm with my dude and I'm just happy. I'm in my happy place, right? The third day of school, we skipped school that day. Now, I knew we had open house that same day, uh, but I didn't think anything of it. I'm just like, okay, I'll just probably go with my mama, or maybe I won't go with my mama. Like, I don't know. I was contemplating whether I should go with her or not. The same day, I skipped school. You know, I came home, I like nothing was wrong. I'm good. Like, I've been in school all day when a bitch really was laid up with a whole nigga. So, my mom was like, hey, you want to come with me to your open house? And I'm like, mm. No, I'm okay. Really, truthfully, I didn't want to go because I'd rather have stayed home and talk on the phone with Gabe. So, really, that's the reason why. So, I was like, nah, I'll stay home or whatever. Bad idea. She went and, you know, she went and she came home too, y'all. And so, when she came home, I noticed she was acting a bit different. Now, she didn't come home and, like, start beating my ass or anything like that. But y'all know y'all parents, right? Y'all know if y'all live with your parents and they just acting funny and you just feel like they know something or feel like you know you about to get caught up i don't know if it's just me but i've always felt like that about my mom whenever i was a teenager whenever i know i was doing some wrong ass shit like i would be so paranoid like oh my god does she know does she know but i felt like maybe i was just overreacting because if she knew i skipped school she gonna come straight home and confront me about it right wrong so that night went on and um my mom called me downstairs. I don't know why she was sleeping downstairs on the air mattress. Oh, you know what? I know why. I do know why. My grandma was actually in town. And so my mom let my grandma and my grandpa sleep in her room. And she was downstairs on the air mattress. So that's why. I totally forgot about that. She called me downstairs and I came, you know, I went my ass down. Did a walk of shame. Well, I didn't know I was doing a walk of shame just yet. But a bitch was doing a walk of shame and ain't even know it. And I sat down on that air mattress that kept going down because it had holes in it. I don't remember exactly what she said or how she said it but I know she asked me a question she was like where were you today as much as I wanted to lie myself out of that situation I knew for a fact I could not lie myself out of that situation because I was caught like I was done it was over with I was busted it was no coming back to that so a bitch just confessed she asked me um, who I was with and I obviously have to tell her who and that's also the same time she found out that I wasn't a virgin anymore um, which is a part of the other story time that I was telling y'all about if y'all want more details y'all know go back to that video I don't have to tell y'all exactly what I told her that happened because y'all know what happened and she was trying to take me to the doctor and all of that well she did take me to the doctor to see if I was pregnant and see if I had any STDs she really didn't have to do that because the nigga was a virgin too I said the nigga like he not in the next room Gabe was a virgin as well I could have swore he just knew what the fuck he was doing um he fooled me the next day my mom ended up telling me to show her where he lived and she talked to his mom and stuff like that oh wait I don't know why I, I forgot to tell y'all the reason why my mom found out I don't know why I missed this. The reason why my mom found out that I skipped school was because whenever she went to my open house, my teacher asked her, she was like, Hey, you know, what's going on with the door? Is she okay? Is she feeling okay? And my mom was like, what do you mean that she's feeling okay? Yeah, she was just here. Don't you know she was okay because she was just here, right? So yeah, y'all know how that went. We went to Gabe's mom's house and y'all already know that story. We talked to his mom and that was that. And my mom told me not to talk to him anymore. After everything went down, how it went down, instead of mom allowing me to walk up to the bus stop like she had been doing the whole time, she started getting up and getting in the car and driving me to the bus stop. I would sit in the car with her until my bus would come. Like, my mom didn't trust my ass. I blame her you know i was i was a little sneaky a lot sneaky but yeah you know that's that's um what she did now i begged her to allow me to talk to game one more last time and she allowed it i can't believe i even asked her that like the audacity like i wish my child would tell me oh, can i play something one more time girl you got me fucked up go your ass on in that room and uh think about what the fuck you just been doing since you want to be a grown-ass woman she let me also wrote him a letter i don't know exactly what the letter was about but it was just me basically telling him that i went to the doctor that was really it <laughs> Gabe really wasn't fucking with me though i'm not gonna tell his side of the story because that's a whole nother video for you guys but 
Um, he was upset basically at me a little bit because I got his parents involved, but that wasn't my fault. I mean, well, it was because I snitched. I ain't had nothing else to say. Like, I couldn't tell her I was somewhere else. Like, what was I gonna tell her? She knew. When the mama knows, she knows. And bitch, she knew. I couldn't lie, so whatever. He really wasn't talking to me, so I kind of felt stupid. At least I gave him my farewell, you know, closure or whatever. I was heartbroken. I remember Neil's album um, had just came out. I forgot what the name of the album was. I'll go ahead and post it right here, but that album had just came out. Rihanna Rihanna's album had just came out. I was jamming them albums like on repeat because a bitch was hurt. Now I'm married to him, you know, that's that. That's it, I hope y'all enjoyed that. Moral of that story is the younger ones who are in high school and, and middle school or whatever school y'all going through, don't be skipping school for no niggas. Like, don't be doing that, that's not cute. It's 2020 y'all, we are no longer skipping out on our education for some dick. We're not doing it, mm -mm. nope. Cause are they gonna do that for us? How the fuck they ain't? So if y'all like this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. If you have any crazy stories of the time that you skipped out on some school for some me. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'm gonna see y'all next week. Bye.